Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2032. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2032 is to be kept in a standard humanoid cell at Site-6-3. Four armed guards are to be posted outside of SCP-2032's cell at all times to prevent false information from being planted in his belongings. All requests made by SCP-2032 within reason are to be accepted pending review and written consent of a Level 3 researcher. Newspapers documenting recent world events are to be delivered to SCP-2032's containment cell daily. SCP-2032 is to be given two 16 mg capsules of galantamine daily, provided with the morning and dinner meals. At approximately 8.30 every morning, SCP-2032 is to be given a 100 mg subcutaneous injection of anakinra. Provided that the joint inflammation does not restrict movement, SCP-2032 is given two hours daily of physician-approved exercise and socialization with the staff of Site-6-3, so long as he is accompanied by a nurse. Following a mild stroke, SCP-2032 is on a mechanical ventilation apparatus, is confined to a wheelchair, and is no longer allowed to leave his containment cell. The cell has been refurnished with life support equipment. Description SCP-2032 appears to be an elderly man of Middle Eastern origin. His true age and ancestry are not currently known, although plausible records would indicate connection to Caliphate circa CE. Although SCP-2032 has an apparent inhuman longevity, his physical and mental health are estimated to have begun deteriorating with age several decades prior to coming into Foundation custody. SCP-2032 is currently receiving daily treatment for moderate Alzheimer's and mild dementia, along with physical therapy for arthritis. SCP-2032 is now also undergoing speech therapy following a stroke, the cause of which is detailed in Addendum 2032-A. The main anomalous quality of SCP-2032 is that his memory directly affects the general public's historical recollection. As SCP-2032's memory begins to fade, numerous branching opinions on historical events consisting of conflicted accounts or other inaccurate information appear. This loss goes so far as to directly alter historical texts as well. SCP-2032 has written several journals to keep his memory accurate. There is a theorized safe zone from the reality-altering effects of SCP-2032's memory for any documents or persons within three meters of him. Additionally, as time passes and the event becomes less current, it is considered to have reached SCP-2032's long-term memory in which the public may not be informed but scholars and historians are. When information passes from this stage of memorization, it is considered lost. Following the discovery of the safe zone within SCP-2032's presence, newspapers and other information are placed in the containment cell until they can be more appropriately archived. A team of Foundation archivists now works daily to write down SCP-2032's recollections, starting with the farthest memories. The journals in which these events are kept are locked inside a safe inside SCP-2032's cell to prevent the loss of this information. The general global opinion and knowledge of recent world events creates new memories for SCP-2032. These recollections have been described to researchers as hazy at best, requiring outside information for accurate clarity. While an event is happening yet not understood, mostly being speculation or rumors, SCP-2032 likens it to recalling a dream. SCP-2032 will gradually gain more clarity around this event, causing knowledge to become public. Despite the impact on his mental health, SCP-2032's knowledge of an event is not what causes the public reaction. As more cultural factors affect the private understanding collective areas have of an event, the psychological reaction on SCP-2032 becomes apparent. SCP-2032 is on a daily regimen of medication to warn off the ongoing symptoms of his mental deterioration. At the current rate of deterioration, it is predicted that in years, all written history prior to 685 CE will be lost. 
Ongoing research is currently underway on how to slow this degradation and, if possible, reverse it. Requests to utilize SCP-500 have been denied due to the likelihood of reversing the amnestics used to remove traumatic events from SCP-2032's memory. In the time following his stroke, see Addendum 2032-A, numerous protests and conspiracy theories became widely spread among the public until SCP-2032's condition stabilized. The hypothetical effects of any further potential damage to SCP-2032's memory could lead to a theoretical CY-class global government destabilization scenario, including a loss of all written and remembered accounts of human history. Despite the continual deterioration of his mental state, SCP-2032 does not seem to age on the cellular level. Through DNA testing, it has been confirmed that SCP-2032 does not suffer from telomere shortening and has not visibly aged in the decades since his initial containment. It has been proven theoretically probable that SCP-2032 has reached his oldest biological age already and will not continue to age further. It has been discovered manipulating the memory of SCP-2032 will alter knowledge of events for the public, but cannot alter the actual series of events. All facts are changed to what SCP-2032 remembered. Anything that happened to contradict these facts still happened, yet cannot be acknowledged by humans. Following critical containment failures, SCP-2032 is given selective amnestics and implanted with false memories to skew the public recollection of events. All O5 ordered historical alterations are written, with a copy of documentation of the original events locked in a safe kept in SCP-2032's vicinity, in case it is ever deemed appropriate to revert the changes. Any staff personnel found to implant false information into SCP-2032's mind will be interrogated as to the purpose of their alteration and subsequently terminated. The log of SCP-2032's initial interview follows. Interviewed, henceforth, SCP-2032. Interviewer, Dr. Lucan. Forward. Subject contacted Foundation personnel claiming to be an anomaly after asking authorities for protection. After considerable testing to verify his claims, an interview was approved. Begin log. April 1995 AM. Mr. If you can recall, how and when did your abilities initially manifest? Abilities? Uh, the memories. The memories were always perfect. Always. All records matched what I recall. The Caliph asked me personally to be his historian. Bastard could not remember which wife warmed his bed each night. This was long ago, yes. I don't know the date. We never... I do not remember it. Still... My mind is strong and will remain strong in Zala. I was overjoyed, yes. I could have anything in the East I desired. I could say anything I wish. Bastard Caliph wouldn't even know. But I was honest. All throughout. Please focus on the details pertaining to your abilities. I cannot remember my birth. What man can? At some point, the memories began to stick. And you cannot forget. A man comes to your house, demands tribute and your father refuses. He beats him with a stick. Your father complains to the sheriff and the bastard does nothing. No one cares about these things, but you still remember them more clearly than you remember important things. At some point, the memories always stick. And what made you desire to contact the Foundation? Bastard men. Snakes, the lot of them. Sharply dressed and clean-shaven, they came to me one day. They asked me to work for them. I refused, politely of course. And they tripled their offer, as if the money was all that mattered. I noticed them following me for days after. Sometimes one man, sometimes many. Sticking to me like shadows. So you came to the Foundation to request asylum? 
God willing, yes. I can think of worse fates. End log. Closing statement. SCP-2032's request to enter Foundation custody has been granted following the interview he was transported to Site-6-3. The initial log of tests to determine the scope of SCP-2032's abilities follow. Test. SCP-2032 is asked at length about several historical battles he claims to have participated in. Effects. All information provided proves to be accurate without exception even so far as the position of the constellations during the night. Remarks While SCP-2032 may struggle to recall these details, he is exceedingly correct. His physical condition and accounts of the battles are deemed enough to verify his claims. Test SCP-2032 is given selective amnestics to test the scope of his ability to alter the recollection of events that others possess. Effects all personnel who were not in the testing room forgot the events in question. Remarks SCP-2032's abilities are confirmed to have a limited safe zone. Test SCP-2032 is given a minor selective amnestic to forget the battle of Effects All documents portraying the events of the battle, save for those contained in a safe immediately near SCP-2032, are rendered blank. Historians questioned about the battle claim no such skirmish ever happened matching those details. Remarks SCP-2032's memory appears to be a direct master copy of history. Whenever he forgets something, it is effectively erased. Addendum 2032-A On November 6, 1963, Immediately following the self-immolation of Tick Quang Duc at the apex of opposition towards the Vietnam War, SCP-2032 had a moderate stroke. SCP-2032 was given Class B selective amnestics and implanted skewed facts to lessen public outcry, preventing a worsening of his condition. Addendum 2032-B to prevent further complications to SCP-2032's health like those in 2032-A, O5 has approved selective amnestics to be given to SCP-2032 for any global events which may cause public outcry or mass hysteria. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Onyx, Arbiter Soul, The Morrigan, Retalius, Karim L. Ashmoy, Patrick Bailey, Dreams, Boy That Ain't Right, Matthew Gilmore, Eric Corbage, Kawaii Firekeeper, Joker Corvus, King Madding, James Saba, and NJ Vojak. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Vulcan. Thank you.